Tonight's special segment, Robot on Call. Don't be surprised if your next face-to-face -face visit in the hospital is with a robot. It's touted as cutting-edge medicine on wheels that could save your life. Health Beat reporter Sylvia Perez is here with a story. Sylvia? Ron and Kathy, minutes count when an emergency room patient appears to be having a stroke. An assessment from a specialist is crucial, but sometimes that doctor isn't always available in the flesh. Now a suburban hospital is one of the first in the area to use what might be the next best thing, a mobile robot that's part doctor, part machine. The concept of robots helping humans is no longer just futuristic fun. Cheer up, Dr. Smith. The robot is now playing a more serious role. How are you? I'm good, how are you? In medicine. This is Dr. Jerry Newman, and he's really a member of the staff at Central DuPage Hospital in suburban Winfield. His name tag doesn't change, but his face does, depending on who's at the controls operating this robot from a remote location. We can actually see what the patient is doing. We can examine the patient ourselves rather than rely on other people to do their examination. Today, neurosurgeon Henry Echeverry, a stroke specialist, is at the helm. There are times in emergency situations he needs to be in two places at once, and that's when he flips open this laptop and wheels into action, joining other medical specialists at a patient's bedside. The resolution of this is such that I can go down to the detailed body parts and, and know that you, know, you can really see what's going on. You can see the pupils, you can see the, the tonsils, you can, you can even attach a stethoscope and listen to their heartbeat if we need to. A couple of months ago, Jim Torma and his wife Janie met the robot face to face. I heard them in the hall say, call the robot. While recuperating from a quadruple bypass, Jim started to show signs of a stroke. Physicians needed Dr. Echeverry's assessment fast, but he wasn't around. By activating the robot, Dr. Echeverry was able to assess Jim's condition even though he wasn't physically there. I was a little out of it, but I, I still was cognizant of something going around, and I, I did see the robot. Excellent thing. It was wonderful. It was very um, comforting. Technically known as the RP7 robotic system, the device is about five feet tall and is equipped with cameras, a video monitor for a head, and a microphone. The doctor can see and speak to the patient. Sound and video of the patient is simultaneously broadcast back to the doctor. Using a joystick, the doctor can move the robot around the bedside, even zoom in to check vital signs. When we examine a patient and decide that a stroke neurologist needs to be involved, this is one more adjunct. Uh, one step better than the phone. It may take time for patients, even hospital members, to get used to the robot on call, but doctors say it is technology yeah, okay. that is proving its worth right. and helping save lives. And the patients feel very happy with it. The, the, the feedback I get is they, they have the sense of security that they're being watched 24 7, even if I'm not there. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, bye, Dr. Echeverry. Central DuPage says the robot is bridging a gap, not replacing hands-on care. Right now, it is mainly being used for stroke assessment in emergency situations. And by the way, the robot is always accompanied by a real-life medical employee who can help with the doctor's assessment of the patient. Ronnie Cappy. Rather reserved bedside manner. <laughs> yes, Ooh. very much Thanks. so. <laughs>